One of the most powerful features of Microsoft Dynamics CRM business management software is the native Outlook client, which allows users to access the full capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics CRM right within the Microsoft Outlook interface. With Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, users can leverage a wealth of new features and capabilities in the Outlook client, collectively known as the Next Generation Outlook Experience. From the familiar Outlook interface, we can see all related emails, contacts, and calendar appointments. We can also see what information is tracked within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. For example, at the lower right of the screen, we can see that contact information and email messages regarding Kim Akers are being tracked within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now let's take a look at another new feature. Now, with just a few clicks, we can convert an incoming email in Outlook to a sales opportunity in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. This new functionality dramatically reduces clicks and data input and allows users to seamlessly track all communications and customer-related data in one holistic system. In the next generation Outlook experience, there is also a new Solutions area. When you select Solutions, a list of features relevant to the currently viewed area is displayed in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Any custom or partner-related solutions could also be housed in Solutions. In this example, you can see all of the features related to sales. Another nice thing about the Outlook client is that you can see all of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM-related features in the left-hand navigation pane right within the Outlook interface. There is no need to press Alt plus Tab or go back and forth between multiple applications. Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Dynamics CRM are, in essence, one and the same program. Let's go ahead and select Opportunities. Another benefit of the next generation Outlook experience is contextual help, which walks the user through different features available in Dynamics CRM. Here, at the top of the screen, we can see prescriptive guidance for getting started with opportunities. In addition, new view and formatting capabilities streamline the presentation of data. With just a click, we can instantly see various predefined data views. In this case, we can see predefined views of opportunities. The Next Generation Outlook experience also includes a set of new inline data visualization capabilities. By clicking on Charts, you can create a real-time chart of the currently viewed data. Let's convert the data in Open Opportunities into a chart by selecting Charts. Let's put the chart on the right-hand side of the screen. With just a click, we can see all of the open opportunities in a visually appealing bar chart. Or, we can open up a predefined chart, such as Pipeline. We can also easily change the presentation, order, or type of chart. Or we can just as easily go back to the raw data, which in this case is in our Open Opportunities tab. Now let's assign a follow-up task to this opportunity. With the Next Generation Outlook experience, we can see that no appointments are associated with this opportunity, but there are associated tasks. Not only can we instantly see the related tasks for today, but also see the related tasks for this week and next week. Once again, there's no need to switch back and forth between multiple applications. If we want to tailor the user experience further, we can customize the view settings by selecting View, and then selecting View Settings. In this case, 
we would like to change the color of open opportunities that have a probability greater than 75 percent. To do this, let's take a look at conditional formatting. Let's call this new rule, Hot Opportunities. We are going to specify the formatting we want to apply to these special opportunities. Let's change the color to maroon and make a few other changes. We've changed the color, typeface, and font size for every open opportunity that meets our specified condition. Now let's define the condition. We click the Advanced tab. We select User Defined Fields in Folder. Now we can see a list of fields. Let's select Probability for Sales Opportunities. Now we click the Condition drop-down arrow. We'll select Is at least. And we'll set the value to 75, which means a 75% or greater probability of closing the sale. We can immediately see that our conditional formatting has taken effect on our list of open opportunities. At a glance, we can tell which opportunities are what we consider hot opportunities. Now let's take a look at some of the new personalization features in the Next Generation Outlook experience. Let's look at how easy it is for the individual user to adjust the default view setup by the CRM administrator. With just a few clicks, we can add or remove columns. Here we can see a list of frequently used fields. Let's go ahead and remove the fields entitled Email Potential Customer and Categories. Now let's change the view. We can see a list of different field categories to choose from. In this case, we want User Defined Fields in Folder. When we select that, we are presented with a list of available columns. Let's select Pipeline Phase. We'll add that to the list of columns that will be displayed. And now Pipeline Phase is shown in the list of columns. And the result of that change can be seen in the sales opportunities. With just a few clicks, we were able to customize the presentation of our data to suit our specific needs including the addition and removal of CRM fields without needing to involve IT services or other administrators. As we have seen in this demo, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 integrates the next generation Outlook experience. This experience includes a wide variety of capabilities that make it possible for users to personalize the presentation of their data in ways that improve their personal productivity.